So it's time for another analytics update video. So I think this is day 18 of my 30 days of posting one long form video every day. So we'll start off with a look at the overall revenue. As you can see, it's pretty similar to what it was last week. And as I mentioned at the start of this series, I said that my goal was to get to $1,000 in ad revenue by the end of the 30 days. And so I started that here and the ad revenue went down, but there is one positive development because on this day, I am actually uh, at record ad revenue. And even if you go back to 90 days, this day here is the highest day ever. And if you look at the details to see where this revenue came from, you can see a lot of it came from my awk video, but obviously that's going down over time. And during some of the previous updates, almost all of the ad revenue was from just this video. But a positive development is that even though I'm still at about the same ad revenue, there's at least a bit of diversity now in where it comes from. So that makes it look a bit more sustainable. And if you look at the last seven days, you can see that the AUK video is only 6% of the ad revenue. And although this is pretty still far from my goal of $1,000 in ad revenue per month, the extra contributions from supers really went a long way toward getting me pretty close to that $1,000 goal overall. So thank you very much to the 17 individuals who gave supers over the last few weeks. And I've also gotten a few new channel members in the last few days. So as you can see, I'm up to 10 members. So this here will add to my recurring baseline revenue. And finally, we can look at shorts. And as you can see, the shorts videos bring in almost nothing, even though I've got over 100 of them. Okay, let's look at some of the view counts. So in my first analytics video, I think I calculated that I would need around 15,000 views per video to get close to my goal of $1,000 in ad revenue per month. And as you can see here, I'm probably kind of uh, averaging around 2,000 or so, which is not too dissimilar from what I had uh, before I started posting frequently. But I also mentioned that if I have a couple videos that do really well, then that could make up for it. And this one here was the first one that started doing some uh, decent numbers. So I think last time I checked it, it was on this day. So in the last week, it's made another $10. So if this one got close to $30 by the end of the month, then, then that's pretty much close to my target. And the next one that started doing really well was this one about uh, regular expressions on Linux. So this one has already made $50, and it's only been out for five days. And as you can see, that revenue is all from watch page ads. So that's pretty sustainable. And another one that did okay was the ZFS on Linux. So that one's been out for four days, and it's made uh, $9. And I guess some of that was from a channel membership. But $8 so far, that's not bad. Now it's kind of unsurprising, but the business videos don't really get as many views. But the revenue from them is not too bad. And a big part of that is they have higher CPMs. Now the video that I made about my video game, that was actually kind of a fun one to make. In fact, that was probably the easiest video to make out of all of them. So I'm glad to see that it actually got a reasonable number of views. Now if you look at the watch time, that's not very good for a video of that length. So I guess it's not really that engaging. And if you check the revenue, there's only two days of data and it's already made $5. Now my analytics video from last week, that one had an interesting graph. At first it was getting quite a few clicks, but uh, over time it's kind of underperformed. And as you can see, most of the revenue is actually not from the uh, watch page ads, but it's from, uh, I got a super, and it also seems like I get a lot of memberships on these videos, which I guess makes sense, because this is the only time that I actually uh, mention that I have channel memberships and Patreon and stuff. So one of the other recent videos is my why I reject my Amazon offer video. So this one only has 78 cents, and I think that's probably because it only has a partial day of data. Yeah, so there's only 144 monetized views. And actually the CPM, that's a very good CPM. So I'll see more interesting data on this in the future. And of course that one's too new to have uh, meaningful data. Now another interesting video from uh, a few days ago, the Raspberry Pi Precision Movement Stage. So this one didn't perform well with my core audience, but it looks like here this video actually got picked up externally. So I did some Googling to try and figure out where it was linked from, and I found this article on Tom's Hardware. And there's a frame for my video. And as you can see, there's my video. So yeah, that's where the external traffic is coming from. So if you happen to be this person, thanks for linking my video. So the next thing I'll take a look at is the updates to the uh, viewers across formats. So I'm actually kind of surprised at how few viewers are watching both videos. So it seems like they're only just watching one or the other. So if you compare that with my last video, the percentage that are watching both actually went down. And one more change from last week is that I have a new Patreon supporter in my higher tier. So that's $104 a month here from memberships. And then there's, I think, 35 from memberships on YouTube. So altogether, that's about $140 a month. So if I want to reach my goal of $1,000 a month in revenue, these extra memberships mean I'd only need $860 a month in ad revenue. So for now at least, it looks like the graph is still going up pretty fast. So if it can just keep going up for another few months, then this might actually become a realistic way to replace the consulting income. Okay, that's all for this week's update. I'll try to do another one next week.